Each year in Vietnam, one out of a hundred children are born with congenital heart defects. Like in many developing countries, a poor family lives on less than a dollar a day. They cannot afford to pay for medical care, nor can they afford to pay the means to travel to transport a sick child to a doctor. And there aren't enough cardiac surgeons trained in the latest surgical techniques, particularly for helping infants and newborns. To better help the underserved, Using live video conferencing, the International Symposium for Cardiac Care Teleconference Lecture Series is bringing together local doctors to learn and share best practice, expert knowledge, and worldwide experience in cardiac care. The, program tonight the goal is to improve their capacity to do these new procedures and do the old procedures in a better way. We've done six cardiac surgery sessions so far. We've had 709 participants, and every single session we see an increase of the number of participants, especially in the webcast. I've been joining this program since the first session in November last year. This program is a really valuable opportunity for us. Last year, our ward conducted operations for more than 1,400 patients. Among those, 750 cases were performed with the assistance of machines, which this program has covered. Last year, the International Symposium for Cardiac Care was recognized as a Clinton Global Initiative. Now I'd like to the Clinton to the Global stage. Initiative convenes Don global Lamb, leaders to the, devise and implement innovative Foundation. solutions to some of the world's most pressing challenges. Vena Capital Foundation, along with its partners, the World Heart Foundation, World Bank Global Development Learning Center, Hanoi, and Washington, the Carpentier Heart Institute of Ho Chi Minh City, make a commitment to enhance quality health care services for underserved children suffering from cardiac disease in Asia. And so our next uh, big step is to run a concurrent uh, series with a different time slot so that it becomes easier for Africa and the Middle East to participate in the GDLN centers in those two areas. My son is seven months old. He was diagnosed with ventricular septal defect and was moved to get the hospital for operation. The operation was carried out two days ago. He had quick recovery after the operation. The series has truly been helping those who cannot help themselves, that is, poor Vietnamese children with heart disease. By giving them a healthy future, these children can stand on their own and take full advantage of all the opportunities offered to them.